Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel, and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. And with me now, I have a couple people representing Chick Tech. If you don't know anything about Chick Tech, well, you're going to find out tonight. We have with us the founder and executive director, Janice Levenhagen Seeley. Welcome. Thank you. And Thompson Morrison, uh, you're the father of a, a young woman who attends Chick Tech, correct? Mm -hmm, that's and correct. also the um, CEO of Fuse Insight and a board member of Chick Tech's fiscal sponsor, which is Tech Start. Did I get correct. all that right? Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Thompson. I would like to start with you, Janice. Tell me. Chick Tech, is that, I, I think I read about it first on a, a Synergy web website. You had a yes. little posting about it, and I yep. never heard of it. And I thought, is that, a, is that a high school? Is it a workshop? What is it? So <laughs> right. give me a little background on, on how Chick Tech started, what it is, and, yeah. and what your mission is. Yeah, so, so basically, uh, Chick Tech's goal is to get and keep girls and women in high tech. And we do that by creating fun, exciting, hands-on events. Um, our... Um, our first, um, we basically have three tracks that we're working on, and we're, we're a new nonprofit. We started in uh, November of 2011. So, quite so new, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so fairly new, although yeah. sometimes it seems like forever. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, so our, our big track that we're working on right now is Chick Tech High School. Um, we also have uh, Chick Tech Career, and then we're working on a joint program that we haven't even named yet um, with Code Scouts. And that's basically going to be providing um, projects for women to work on for um, community organizations so that they can learn how to uh, code um, and actually be doing something worthwhile with their skills. Wonderful. I got some yeah. good hands-on experience. and yeah. yeah. So the reason that I started Chick Tech was because um, back in 2006, I graduated from OSU with a computer engineering degree. And uh, computer engineering has about 8% women. Wow. And uh, it's kind of that's really low. Stressful, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, it's one of, one of the lowest. I believe electrical and computer engineering are two of the lowest, or around the same amount. And then um, computer science is around 18 percent right now. Mm -hmm. um, and when I graduated, I realized that the idea of doing an interview terrified me. And I, it was just the worst torture that you could think so of. So interviewing for jobs in that industry, it, exactly. that, in that field? Yeah, yeah. And it was, um, I don't know if you've heard of the imposter syndrome before, but oh. it's basically, it hits um, men and women in um, careers that's do that are dominated by the opposite gender. And um, so it could be male nurses right, and right. Then women in technology. Um, and so basically, no matter how good you are at something, no matter how many accolades you get, you always feel like you're an imposter and eventually somebody's going to find you out. Wow. So the idea of, that, yeah, 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 the idea of an interview in that situation when you're feeling like that is the most terrifying experience. And so I ended up leaving engineering. Really? After wow. all of that work. Um, and I ended up going back for my uh, MBA and I, um, you know, did my MBA and then I got out and I worked for a little bit and then I managed to find myself back in technology because that's what I love. And I'd like to, um, through Chick Tech, make it so that women feel welcome in technology and they feel like they aren't imposters because they're surrounded by other women who are just like them and they're all equally talented and they all have something that they can give that's unique. Um, that's wonderful. So, yeah. That's wonderful. That's, <laughs> that's a great reason for doing it, I mean, yeah. to prevent others from having to go through what you did. Exactly. How about you, Thompson? Your daughter is involved in this organization? Yeah. Um, but my role is, is multi multifaceted. Okay. Um, I'm, on, I'm a member of the board of directors of the Technology Association of Oregon. Okay. And um, have been very involved with the economic development strategies for this whole region in that industry. And one of the greatest challenges that we have is talent. And mm. so I saw that from a perspective of the industry that we um, are desperate for uh, good talent to go into that, that uh, industry. At the same time, I'm, I'm looking at that part of the picture. I'm looking at my daughter, who is, was at that point a, a freshman in high school and, and wanting to actually follow down to learn more about technology and actually start learning how to do some software coding and realizing that um, as a parent within the Portland, within Portland Public Schools is where she is, that there were very limited avenues for her to uh, actually enter into this field where we were desperate for talent. And there was a huge chasm and a, and a huge gap. And so 
I was actually looking at it from two perspectives right. and realizing that this was actually a, re a very, very significant problem, not only for me as a parent, but also for us as a community. And so one of the great challenges is, um, is to bring uh, young women um, into this field. And so that um, my daughter, in fact, had taken some uh, coding classes uh, during the summer um, as a freshman and then decided that she'd no longer wanted to go into software or anything technology related. And I was wondering why that was and she had lost all interest on in it. And then I had mentioned to her about Chick Tech because um, I became aware of it through uh, Janice and she became, all of a sudden this got reignited and I realized that for her she needed to find her cohort, her friends of other girls who also wanted to do it because she did not want to be an outlier. Right, she didn't want to be the, the odd man. The out. odd, or exactly. Well, especially, yeah. especially in high school. Especially oh, yeah. in yeah, high school. Yeah, you want to fit Critical. in then. Sure, yeah. sure, that makes sense. And so that the idea of allowing girls to come together and, play and, and actually explore this allows them in a safe way to all of a sudden open up these, this whole, all of these uh, possibilities. So in the process of that, I also then became then um, the, the president of, of uh, Techstart, which is the 501c3 educational foundation for the TAO. Oh. Okay. So that all these pieces all now came <laughs> together <laughs> and we began to say, and then we said, oh, well, t the Techstart can now be to support this, this program that has economic development reasons, but also I have a personal desire to sure. have my daughter have a sure, sure. So right. I'm very committed to this because I have, I see it from many, many different sides. And I think that uh, these types of programs um, are really critical for our kids. Uh -huh. You make the perfect uh, person for, <laughs> for the board because <laughs> of your different perspectives there. You're not right. seeing it from just one one yeah. vantage point. And, and what a great untapped market there is, all these women. I mean, there's, there's got to be a lot of women out there that have the, you know, that are interested in doing this, but they have not been encouraged yeah. or supported. Yeah, well, let me tell you a little bit about um, Chick Tech High School, which will put a little bit of perspective on, on your daughter um, getting excited, I hope. <laughs> um, so um, our big event for Chick Tech High School is actually coming up. It's January 26th and 27th, which is a weekend. Um, two full days, about nine to five, um, and it's for a hundred high school girls. And um, they, it's at Portland State. They basically get to choose one of seven workshops that they get to participate in. So it's not just a little tiny sampler where they right. play with something for an hour and then move on. It's 10 hours of um, completely project-based, um, hands-on oh, time. So they're actually working on a project and learning the skills. And a, a lot of them have not ever done any programming, ever played with any hardware before. Um, and so they'll get to come and they'll get to be with their cohort of all these other women, young women in their, um, in this area. Um, Are these all high school age kids? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And we focused on sophomores and juniors. Um, and however, now that we're, we're getting closer, we have a few spaces still open, first come, first serve. Um, so whoever, um, if there are people out there who have, uh, daughters or if there are high school <coughs> girls watching and they'd like to sign up they can always go to our website it's chicktech.org um, c-h-i-c-k-t-e-c-h dot org yes, yes exactly okay um, and it's it's fairly easy to find the participants page it's called participants <laughs> um, yes it's very fancy that. Yeah. yes um, and so our seven workshops i can usually remember all seven of them i don't know something about lists are always <laughs> hard so we have three uh, three hardware ones one is through free geek um, where uh, 10 girls get to build their own computer and take it home. Uh, okay. Robotics, um, where they get to build their own robot and take it home. Wow. And um, microcontrollers, where there's, there's two projects. One, they're going to actually get to do a, uh, um, create their own musical instrument. And then the other, they actually get to what I call retrofitting stuffed animals, where you can make it um, do different things when you press its paw. So you actually get to bring oh, in yeah. your own stuffed animal to oh, tinker fun. with, as long as you're okay with maybe. Cutting yeah, them up just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Doing um, a little surgery. Yeah, and then we have a, a one called Designing Experiences. We have, um, which is software interface design, um, website design, gaming, and uh, smartphone apps. Wow. So those they're are, all really and those fun. are all very relevant. Those are things that I yes. can imagine would really interest a lot of kids. Yeah. Now, who do you have um, 
running these workshops? Where do you get the people from? Yeah, so all seven of our workshops are created by a team made up of um, men and women who are tech professionals in the community. And so they're, the teams are between, I think, four and eight people. Um, so we end up having quite a few um, active volunteers, which is really great. great. And right. I'm really excited for the girls to meet all of them because they're really awesome people and they're so excited about providing this uh, this to the girls. And all, I believe most of our workshops are created from scratch and they've, they've taken bits and pieces of what's, what has worked from other, other workshops. Um, those are fabulous. Uh, yeah. Well, and it's amazing, like, how the volunteers get so excited about it. Like, when things are going well, you know, there's always yeah. where th they get kind of stuck. But when things are going well, they just light up and they they have a purpose. You know, right, sometimes right. it's hard to do that. And so I almost, um, I call, uh, that's almost our secondary purpose for Chick Tech High School is it's to get the, our volunteers, volunteers happy. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah. Oh, and at the end of the, the weekend, we actually have a tech show. Um, and what that is, is basically an hour and a half. It's the 27th from 4 to 530. Um, and we're inviting the community to actually come and see what the girls have created. That's and it's, it's free to the public and they can, uh, you can RSVP on the website. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically like a science fair. So the yeah. girls can see that the community is really excited about what they're able to create and they get to be, you know, in the spotlight. Yeah, give some, some little pats on the back and some encouragement and some support to continue yeah. doing that. Well, exactly. That's great. So will your daughter be participating in that? Do you know? Oh, you know, it was so much fun for her to go through all of those lists. And uh -huh. we sat down and we talked about what each one of the different modules were. And it was really interesting for me to watch her discernment process and how what attracted her and what didn't because as a parent you're always trying to figure out trying to understand what are where are the passions the hidden passions uh -huh. of, your, of your child and what's interesting for me is that rather than the software part she really wanted the hands-on hardware aspect really? of it yeah, yeah. And, and in fact the thought of actually building a pc really excited her oh that's so because great because she thought wow i'm going to learn how a cpu works and how a motherboard works and how this and it's like, really? That's interesting. I didn't, where, you you know, it's like glimpse, I didn't that. even know that that's what she would have been fascinated that's with. Cool. That's pretty cool. Now, our time is going really fast. So <laughs> let's tell me about the career and the, and the groups. The yeah, other, well, the other let me tell you yeah, real quick about career since the groups aren't really. Oh, that's new. That's Yeah, yeah. yeah. so career yet. is basically going to be giving women uh, of any age the chance to do the same kinds of things as the mm -hmm. girls are doing. Um, so that's taking one of the workshops and doing it monthly. So say okay. the software interface design may be in June and in July would be robotics. Okay. Um, and it's a sliding scale fee so that we can hopefully at least cover its costs and maybe part of uh, Chick Tech High School. Um, but our goal is to um, keep the women who are in high tech in high tech by giving them new skills, creating networking opportunities, um, Etc. and basically yeah. giving them back that spark and that That's passion great. that um, brought them into so tech they won't in the have first to place. they suffer from this imposter syndrome. Exactly, when they're out right? There. Yes. They, they, already, they already have the confidence. Yeah, to get out yeah. There. And, then, and then there's so many women out there who've never had the opportunity to build their confidence in um, the technology field. Sure. And so this would be a really um, low stress environment where they can come in and they can learn how to build a website or they can learn, That's you know, so they right. never got to do robotics in high school. Now they get to build their own robot and take it, it home it and play with close it. close to that when I was in high school, yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Uh, Thompson, what, what does the organization need? Donations, volunteers? <laughs> You, Jazz, is probably better yeah. to answer that. Well, than we I definitely am. we want to make sure that we fill up because our volunteers have been working so hard on their uh, so if you their know projects. Of girls so that if you know, yep, if it, everybody, um, if you know of any girls, direct them to the website. Um, we're obviously, you know, nonprofit taking donations. We also created Chick Tech T-shirts. So if anybody wants to order a Chick Tech T-shirt, they're uh, they're pretty cool. I like them. And they're for sale and on your then, website. Okay. Yep, and then um, also definitely come to the tech show and check out uh, what they've created. Great. Well, we'll direct everybody to the website. I'm going to go post something on our Facebook page and, and nice. let all my friends, my personal <laughs> Facebook page, let all my friends know that have young girls yeah, that, you yeah, know, for sure. check it out. I think that's great. Thank well, you. We are out of time. That went way too fast. There's a whole <laughs> bunch more questions I have for you. So maybe you can come on again yeah. later and, and kind of update us on what's going on, especially Thank after you. you get the, the groups up. Yeah, find yeah, out about it'll that. be fun. So if anybody's interested, has girls they know that might be interested, go to your website. We'll go from there. Thank you, Thompson. Thank you, Jana, so much for being on Thank here you. tonight. Thanks for watching this uh, 
segment of Community Hotline. We'll be right back in a few minutes, but be sure to check out Chick Tech on their website. I'm Monica.